So you had MRI of the brain and it showed that you have white matter lesions or spots on the MRI. And this could represent multiple sclerosis. Now you're worried, unable to sleep. Could, could I have multiple sclerosis? So the question is every time we see white matter spots or lesions, it's multiple sclerosis. And the answer is not. There are several possibilities every time that we see white matter lesions or spots on the MRI. The common ones, it could be non-specific, which means it has no meaning to it. What we look for on the MRI when we see white matter lesions, we look for the location, we look for the number of them, and we look for the pattern that are present on the MRI. So with non-specific, typically we see one, two, three, and in different distribution, not very particular distribution, very tiny ones. Now it could represent multiple sclerosis. However, multiple sclerosis it, it has specific pattern and location for those white matter lesions. And we don't even fully rely on the MRI. We also look at the clinical picture. We look at the age of the patient. We look at the sex of the patient. All of those play a big part in confirming or diagnosis multiple sclerosis. It could, it could also represent what we call white matter disease or ischemic changes. Now with ischemic changes, essentially tiny, tiny strokes that are present on the MRI. Again, it has different pattern. And also we look at the patient, we look at the age of the patient, the risk factors for stroke in the patient, does he or she have hypertension, diabetes, uh, high cholesterol, smokers, all of those play a big part in diagnosing white matter lesions. So look, let's look at the three examples here that we present. One. Here is non-specific. We have one, two, three, four spots in a not particular pattern, very tiny. So with this patient, essentially, this could present in a smoker, uh, people with migraine headaches, people have cholesterol, people have high blood pressure. We do not do anything about this, uh, this image. We do not repeat the MRI. It is very reassuring that this is benign. Now, this second pattern is very classic for multiple sclerosis. It's in a very particular pattern, we call it Dawson fingers, in a specific location. But again, we, even with this image, we go back to the patient, we go back to the history, and we confirm MS based on the history in conjunction with the MRI, not just the MRI alone. And the third example is essentially the small vessel disease from ischemic changes. And this patient, again, we do not confirm it until we look at the history, the age of the patient, do they have high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, or a smokers? So at the bottom line is that if you just have white matter spots or lesions on the MRI, do not get worried and lose sleep over them because they could be nothing and non-specific. Go back to your physician, to the specialist, sit with them and look at the clinical picture of the history and confirm the diagnosis based on your exam and history in conjunction with the MRI and not just based on the MRI image. Thank you.